guys. Uh, so I have some exciting news, which you guys probably already know, um, because it's after the 29th. But look who's here. Look, look at how many. There are 10 of them. 10 puppies. We thought originally there were only going to be seven or eight possibly, um, but she ended up having 10, which she had 10 in her last litter. Um, so we kind of figured maybe she would have 10 more. Um, again, I mean, so that's really awesome. So there are five boys and five girls. These are the girls. We have um, a mixture of some darker ones. This one actually has a little white marking on her head, which is pretty cool. Meg has a tiny, 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 tiny white marking on her head. You can't even see it. It's like one or two hairs that she has on her head that's white. But there's another little girl. Yeah, some of them are a little bit darker. If it's the same little reds, because I have a heat lamp over where they're sleeping to keep everything nice and toasty and warm. We have some light ones and some darker colored girls. Uh, they won't be like really, really dark, but they'll be more like tan than like a really light color. So they'll still be adorable either way. And here are the boys. So we have some light boys here. Like here's a light one and a little bit darker. It seems like there are some more of the uh, darker puppies that are girls than boys. Seems like they're more lighter boys than girls, but they're pretty much all about the same color all about the same size as of right now and of course these are all f1 standard um golden doodles so there's no minis or anything we have to worry about uh, picasso is the dad only bred her with him <laughs> and uh yeah so they're just doing really good they actually came early which i was not expecting it their due date was supposed to be on the 29th um that's what the vet said and so i wrote that in my calendar but they were actually born on the 25th unexpectedly i was not planning for it she was kind of showing um signs a tiny bit but it wasn't anything that i thought like oh she's gonna be going into labor the thought did run through my mind when she wasn't um wanting to eat as much as she usually does so i thought you know maybe she's gonna be going you know into labor but i was like yeah, it's way too early there's no way and if the vet said the 29th then i figure it, has, it can't be this early, maybe on the 27th when I thought, but not this early. But lo and behold, she did have them. Thankfully, I was awake because it was about 5 a.m. when she started. All the puppies are doing really good. Labor went really well. She did so good. I basically didn't have to do anything other than just supervise, stay awake. Um, she took care of everything. Dogs are really good with most of the time. I won't say this with every dog with handling delivery and stuff themselves. Um, you just have to be there to make sure everything is going smoothly. And if not, then, you know, take the proper steps to make sure that it, you know, everything happens the way it's supposed to. They're doing really good. They're already a week old. I can't believe it. I mean, I've been so busy with Ella's puppies that I haven't been able to really um, spend much time with these little guys, but thankfully they're just kind of sleeping anyway. I just gotta make sure that they stay warm um, and fed, and also with Meg too. So it's, it's been crazy, but it's been really fun, and I'm actually really thankful that they're already here because I was really stressing out about um, this week with the puppies going to their homes for Ella's and also with these ones being born. I was really worried that there, I was gonna be delivering the same time that people were coming over. <laughs> so thankfully, you know, they came out before all that happened. Um, so I'm thankful for that. There are a lot of puppies in this litter, so I'm guessing maybe that's why they really just needed to come out. So for the dates, uh, if you guys are curious for the ones who have deposits for this litter, they're going to be turning six weeks old on, I'm looking at my calendar here, sorry on December 6th and that's when we'll be doing selections and that can be through video, FaceTime, uh, pictures and if you want to come over and pick your puppy out you're more than welcome to do so. We're also waiting until then for when you pick out your gender as well because I know a lot of people like to change what gender they want because they just want to see how the puppies grow and how they develop and I completely understand that so we wait until six weeks to pick out the gender as well. That's actually the second week of December just so you guys know. And the puppies are going to be ready for their forever homes on December 20th which is the Sunday before 
the day after Christmas. So that's like a week before Christmas, which is really cool. And I know a lot of you guys are gonna want me to hold the puppy until around Christmas time, which is totally fine. I'm okay with doing that. Whenever you want to pick up your puppy, for those of you who are getting a puppy from this litter, I can be completely flex flexible. I'm not going anywhere, I'm not doing anything. These are my main priority you know, around Christmas time and just right now. <laughs> so whenever you wanna come pick up your puppy, it's fine. We'll, you know, we'll talk about that when the time comes. But yeah, I'm super happy for them. They're doing so good, they're so cute. Now I am gonna be keeping a puppy from this litter and I'm hoping to get this one. I'm hoping to. And also, the person who owns Picasso is getting a puppy from this litter also because that is her form of payment, is pick up litter. So I'm hoping she won't pick that one because I'm gonna be second and then I'll, I'm gonna pick this one. But it doesn't really matter. I guess we'll see how, how they grow and then I'll make my selection. I'll, I'll also make my selection at six weeks old because I want to see how they grow and who gets attached to me. I'm going to be contacting everyone who um, is on the waiting list for this litter. Probably starting tomorrow, I'll be getting in contact with you as I go down the list, so be patient with me. So we're gonna go through all this over again, just like I do with all the other puppies with my niece. We're gonna do the deworming starting at two weeks old. I'm gonna get some pictures and some videos for you guys. Oh, and let me get Meg for you so you can see how she's doing. Come here, Meg. Oh, she's just like waiting. <laughs> There's Lily. Oh, I don't want you guys, just want Meg. She's doing really good too, taking care of them. Like I said, the delivery went really well. She's such a good mom. <laughs> Push them off the blanket. And she's doing really good. Say hi to everyone. Say hi. So you see, sort of, well you can't really see it in this lighting. She has like, well you can't tell in this lighting, but she seriously has like one little white hair on her head, like right you can't, you can barely see it, but she's doing so good. <laughs> and all the puppies are doing good. She's taking good care of them. The puppies love to nurse and uh, everyone's getting all their nutrients like they're supposed to. There isn't anyone getting, whoa, a shortage of milk. And so yeah. <laughs> Let's get them all settled so you can see them nursing. Okay, I'm gonna nurse them. I'm gonna nurse them. So a lot of my job too at this point is just making sure that everyone is getting milk. If there's any of one that seems to be smaller than others, ooh, don't run off. Then just make sure that they also get their fair share of milk. That way they continue to grow just like everyone else is. And they pretty much know how to how to get to the to the titties themselves. And I'm actually sleeping in here as well for the moment um, to make sure everyone is doing good. And if Meg needs to go outside because she's eating a lot more, I'm here to let her out because she usually gets up and goes to the bathroom about three times. Ooh, what is this on your leg? Got some poopy on there. I have to clean that off. Um, yeah, she usually goes um, outside to go to the bathroom about three times a night because she eats a lot. And I don't want to deprive her of any food or water or anything at this time since she's nursing so many puppies. So yeah, um, that's something I'm constantly doing. <laughs> but anyways, like I said, I'm super excited. Uh, if you guys have any questions for the, about this litter or future litters, let me know. Like I said, this litter is spoken for, but I am expecting more litters next year. So just get in contact with me if you're interested in more information on next year's waiting list. In December, also, I will be posting a video letting you guys know exactly when I will be accepting applications. I'll know the exact date and I'll also know exactly what litters I'm going to be planning for because I'm still in the process of figuring that out because uh, things are always constantly changing and I need to know how many spots I'm gonna have to fill for next year. Go ahead and follow my page if you haven't. You can follow me on my socials. I'll put that link in the description and I guess that's it for now. Thanks for watching. And say, we'll see you really soon. We'll see you really soon. <laughs> Bye, guys.